Greetings! Welcome back to the studio. In today's video, I want to talk about the tools I like to use to quickly put together a paint chart. I have to make charts quite often, and I don't really enjoy all the maths of it, so I found shortcuts. The first tool I use is a T-square ruler. Pretty simple and straightforward. You can align the side of it to the edge of the paper, and that saves time on measuring things. Then, I have two templates, one with squares and one with circles. The last item is something I just got, in order to help make better mixing circles for triads. I just realized I could search and see if such a tool existed, and it does! It will help in aligning the swatches in a mixing circle, and also defining a circular path around it to mix the colors. I'm taking the new tool for a first spin on a blank sheet of printer paper, just to see how to use it. It's pretty neat and very easy to use. I use it to draw the path of the mixing circle, and I can use the degrees on the outer circle to align my circle swatches properly around the path, if that makes sense. I'll be making a swatch sheet and mixing circle for the lovely Windsor and Newton paints that Ellen sent me, to show how I use all of these tools. I made the chart one color too big for these colors, but it showed better how I proceed. I will start by establishing a margin for the chart, and then I map out the number of squares I need. I work with an erasable pencil for this step, so I can easily correct if need be. I only pencil in the height and width of the chart, as that shows me the space it will occupy. Then I pencil the triad mixing circle. Once I'm glad with placement and size of everything, I ink them in with the ballpoint pen. I love using these because they don't smudge, they don't leave ink on the stencils, and they are waterproof. Ballpoint ink dries fast too, so I can erase the pencil lines and the whole thing is ready for paint. The painting process is pretty simple too. I prefer to do half charts, as I've found that I don't really need two swatches for each mix, personally, and I don't really have the patience for a full chart. The main diagonal line is all the pure colors, and everything else is a mix of two of them. The triad mixing circle is also pretty simple. I like to pre-wet it with clean water, and then I add in color, and let it mix mostly on the paper. And that's about it. These four tools save me a lot of planning and maths, and they really help me when I have to make a bunch of charts to swatch out various sets and paints. Do you make charts to map out your paint mixes? How much do you enjoy making them? Let me know in the comments below. Take care, bye bye.